When we talk about energy fields, imagine a space that have a certain quality of modulations, of electricity, of plasma, of light, of waves, and it creates a, such a dynamic movement and is alive, is intelligence. It, it, it brings in each field, is packed with all particles and planks of the combination of each cell, each part of the universe. So it's, it's, it's very much an activity that is as vast as the universe. We can call it presence, we can have it uh, a sense of relationship to that because it, it forms us. So it's a big one energy field. However, these energy fields have packets or distinctive frequencies across the across creation. You one being of them accordingly to the the what you perceive reality, accordingly to how you conceive yourself and what level of perception you are. So energy fields are very much defining themselves in this moment of evolution. They are there are sectors that I say, okay, this is the field that is blue, this is the red, this is the yellow. And when do we have that um, understanding, we are able to choose in what energy field you want to belong. And there are energy fields that are more in the form of uh, density, that are kind of compacted, they are kind of bouncing, the, the, the particles are bouncing with each other, sense, uh, giving a sense of, of, of matter, of touch or solidity. And those energy fields is what you define as, as you, or what we call in the, in, in the teachings the earth bodies. You have the body, you have the mind, you have the emotions, you have the environment. All those are creating a, a soup for you to experience something in, in your life, to learn something. Then there's energy fields that are more subtle, more expanded. So the distance between the, the planks, between the particles are more extended. So you have a more sense of a space, a more sense of um, the, the, the emptiness itself. So, and the, in, in that stretch, you are able to have the, the zone of, the middle zone as I call it, and it's the zone where you're able to navigate different energy fields and say, no, I don't belong here, I belong here. So, it's when you are activating more your choices and the selection of where you want to belong. And then you establish your presence, you establish your oneness in that particular energy field. So they're not good or bad, it's just different um, qualities of density. And then there is a much more expanded field where is the, the resonance is, is part of a vast vacuum, if I can put it that way, where the waves are much more um, quick and vibrate so rapidly, the vibration itself is just light itself and, and, and sound. So that energy field is more related to, to, the, to the cosmic suns, if I can put it that way. It's all the suns, the, the, the pure vibration of light, very fusion, very uh, uh, atomic um, uh, strength. So with that energy fields is important because we, we do navigate through them as we evolve. We, we get energy fields that interlap, we get energy fields that we are interconnected, that we are exchanging, and at the same time, these energy fields can give you a sense of identity, can give you a sense of, oh, this is where I am, this is what I'm doing, this is, is my form, this is my mind, this is my emotions. 
but again is is not to be attached to that energy field or that home and see that there will be another one and there will be another one and another one and it's ongoing in every present moment every moment every moment you are modulating this energy field and there are some times when those energy fields um, you you pass from one to another one very distinctively you you pass it like from water to oil and then you wow you what what did it happen here your moods change your perspective change is sort of what we call the transitions in life and 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 that overlapping of these two f energy fields you frequency that you are bringing match the other one and it's it's like two waves in the ocean that crash and it 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 destabilizes you it, it brings you sense of um, confusion it's not for long if you don't take it personally but it's constantly happening some waves are slow and smooth and you don't feel it as much because it's happening in every mini second or mini 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 second and other ones that are much more evident that is making a real a real um, field you feel it you you say okay this is a new territory for me so when we talk about energy fields is it's important to know that you generate energy field you are an energy field and that the type of modulations and the types of frequencies that that energy field has is going to be in correspondence to the external because it's, it's a holographic projection so you are projecting holographically all what is in the in you energy field your energy field is is empty is is the sun is the light is the one is the is the presence is the is 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 untouched and at the same time that oneness have the different flavors that you experience as yourself so we are constantly in that but when we decide it's okay i am generating my energy field i am in the energy field i generate it i am the creator of this energy field and what can i do to maintain that energy field expanded and again we come back to that notion uh, that any inspiration that comes very purely to you any knowing anything that is exciting to you it's an electrical current that touch your heart and it transfer as an emotion of excitement as an emotion of um, wanting to do something new something that is not repetitive something that it helps you to cross the limit something that is excite you it scare you a little bit something that is is unknown to you in that moment when you decide to make an action you are immediately correlating the external and the interior and the external you are making an energy field that is where you are where you're navigating where you are feeling it where you are perceiving from and to maintain the energy field, your energy field, is to keep that inspiration up, is to keep it positive, is to keep it that don't feel defeated in every single oh, is conversations with your mind or your ego that wants to hold you back. So no, you keep going and, and you do that as often as you can at all times you don't let yourself distracted by all the kinds of inspirations that are that are not yours you don't compare you don't assume things you just keep in that aliveness the, your energy field it's very profound when we understand this because we know that it, we are not a victim 
and that we have total control our frequencies, energy fields, and that that determines the location that you are going to have in the in creation. Call my number.